What's up YouTube, the Oak Gang, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna compare my Glock 20 and my Glock 40. I left my Glock 29 home because it is compact and I already know it is hella snappy. So, we are gonna find out today, does size really matter? How are you guys doing today? I'm great, thank you. It's about 200 degrees in Miami. It is hot. Hello, Stephanie. Okay, I got what I need. All I need is a target. I'm gonna snatch these. So both of these are chambered in 10 millimeter, and except there is a size difference in the two. So we have one that is monstrous, and one is a little bigger than a full size, but we will discuss that in a moment. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna talk about the Glock 20. Here she is. Let's do a quick clear check. 15 round magazine, and she is clear. Let me put that back in there so that you can see. There she is. The Glock 20 chambered in 10 millimeter. Now, the barrel length on this Glock is 4.61 inches. The weight is 27.51 ounces. She has good weight to her. Expect it for the 10 millimeter because the round is a heavy, heavy round. Now, that was actually the weight without the magazine. The weight loaded, it bumps it all the way up to 39.8 inch, uh, inches, 39.8 ounces. And she has a hell of a stout grip on her. It is a polymer frame. And I am hoping that because she is so stout that I would be able to hold her as, you know, with a nice firm grip. Of course, these Glock sights, mm, not a big fan of, but it is what it is. She has her safety on her trigger. And this mag release is very, very sharp. So I can feel it's going to be an issue because it protrudes and it's very sharp around the edges. But that's not here nor there. We are going to find out if she's worthy. All right, now up next is this monster. This is the Glock 40. Let me hold this up like this so you can see. This Glock 40 is enormous. It has a 10 round magazine. Let's do a quick clear check, she's clear. And let me put that magazine back in there so that you can see her. Okay, she has a 15 round mag capacity. The barrel length on her is 6.2 inches. Now the weight without the magazine unloaded is 32.28 inches and the weight of it loaded is 44.62. So this is hella heavy. Of course, the Glock sight that I'm not a big fan of this one is um, optic ready. You have your rail underneath to put whatever it is that the accessories that you would like. And again, the same stout feeling on the grip. And we're gonna find out if I like it. So, don't go far. We are gonna shoot some defense dynamics. This is Fiocchi, 180 grain, 1250 feet per second. And we're gonna give it a fair chance and see what it is. So, let me suit up and we'll be right back. We are comparing the size really matter. And now as far as my Glock 29 goes, again, we are in a safe and controlled environment. We are at the gun range. As far as my 29 goes, it's chambered in 10 millimeter and it is super, super snappy. Now, the sizes on these are a major, major difference between the 29. I should have brought it just so that you guys can have a visual in the difference of the two. But as far as this Glock 20, this has an eight inch overall length. So. The 8 inch overall length, the Glock 40 has a 9.4 overall length. So is that going to make up or compensate for the actual recoil of that 10 millimeter round? That is why we're here. That is what we are going to find out. I believe my lane is open. We would take six today. And let's see, does size really matter? 
So we're going to do 50 rounds. And we're going to fire. Wow. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna go with the block 20 first. Alright, so we're going with the block 20 first. We're actually shooting protection. Gotta get a nice firm grip on this. of the firearm jumping, it is the pulling of it. I like that. But everybody It's not enjoyable at all. First magazine, I don't like it. All right, Glock 40 magazine. It only has 10 rounds. I think size does matter. Very much so. I've been now, told you that. Huh? I've been told you size matters. <laughs> I am going to bring this target up and I'm going to show you exactly why. Okay. My Glock 20 shots are all out here. I, I mean, no matter how hard or how tight I, gri I gripped, that firearm, I could not stop it from veering to the left. Now the Glock 40, these are my shots right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we must have one somewhere else. So, according to this, size does matter. Let's reload. Okay. Let's do the 20. Black 20. Let's see. Try to get a better grip on her. I don't like it. I have to Okay, let's go for the 40.
Ready? Wow. Okay, let's bring that up. Okay, these are my Glock 20 shots. I just changed up my grip some, held it a lot tighter, and that's where my Glock knuckle was happening. And this is the Glock 40. So, yeah. Do I like them any better than my 29? Nope. All right, let's load back up and set our target. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go with the 40 first this time. Look at the monstrous of a piece of machinery this is. Twenty. <laughs> My Glock 20 and here is my Glock 40. Let's go talk about these sizes. <laughs> the size matter? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, now as far as the shooting went, let's clear this. She's clear. As far as the shooting went, the Glock 20 I suffered with a little bit more. Um, because there was just so much grip that I had to make up for. The mag release was digging into the side of my hand. The control was just not there for me. It, it wasn't, it's better than my 29, much better, but it's still not, it will not be a go-to. It's not even fun to shoot. 
Okay, now as far as the Glock 40, she's clear. I found my accuracy to be much better with the longer overall length as well as the longer barrel. So yes, size does matter. Mm -hmm. Even though, even though the grip was still a, 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 a task for me to actually hold on to, my hands are starting to sweat. That is the only time I really appreciate the Smith & Wesson grips is when my hands become sweaty. Now, this is kind of aggressive. If you can um, notice here, this is a Gen 4 and this is a Gen 5. If I'm not mistaken, let me make sure I'm telling you correctly. Um, it doesn't say. Okay, from what I understand, you see this um, grip right here? This is a Gen 5 grip and this would be the Gen 4. Now, the mag release, like I said on here, is horrible. Whoever thought of this, came up with this, that was not a good move at all, at all, because it really does cause extra unnecessary uncomfort when it comes to actually gripping the pistol. If you notice on this mag release, it is a larger mag release and it's a little more flush to the actual grip. But I have quite a few 10 millimeters and I have to tell you that my favorite shoot in the 10 millimeter is the Springfield XDM, period. It is overly, it's not a out of control type of shoot. It's very controllable. It has just the overall dynamics of the pistol just fit so well. And you have the ability, I know, yes, with the Glocks, you can change out the back straps and all that good stuff, but straight out of the box, the Springfield XDM is the better shoot. Point blank, period. It is what it is. Now, with that being said, Yoke Gang, if you have not checked out www.yokegang.com, make sure that you do pick up a t-shirt and a gun back patch. I really enjoy doing this stuff for you guys. I thank you guys for all your support coming into the chat and chatting with me. I very, very much so enjoy it. For all my newcomers, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up for me. Let's push these videos so we can have many, many, many more to come. But... I'm sorry, I gotta let you go. This is not goodbye. This is definitely see you later. I love y'all to pieces. Peace.